Previously on Beneficence TV. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. We have now reached cruising altitude and are flying over the beautiful Philippines. The winds are calm and we are maintaining our course for the new lab location. It's shaping up to be a perfect spot for filming the next episode of Divine Science. Our estimated time of arrival remains as scheduled with clear skies ahead. So sit back, relax, and please ensure your seats and trays are in the upright position as we prepare to start the show. Benefactor, we have received a green light to begin filming. Thank you for choosing to fly with us today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button to help us fuel the journey ahead. Lenny, those are my days off. It's okay, sir. I know you'll manage just fine. I have faith in you. Do robots have faith? I do. I have faith that you won't screw it up again. You know what? It's fine. Go ahead. I'll just build my cold fusion Lego set some other time. It's Pond certified. But I'm not telling them about my idea for a thunderstorm toilet. I'm gonna keep that baby close to my chest. You know, that just sounds wrong. It's a good idea. A toilet capable of turning any toxic human waste into, well, it turns into petroleum jelly. Why petroleum jelly, sir? You know what? I'm not sure. I don't think it's calibrated correctly. The truth is stranger than fiction. But amidst the darkness, a glimmer of hope emerges in the form of renegade scientists and inventors who refuse to be silenced. Yes, I've been waiting patiently here, and all I've heard is you complain about Ken Wheeler. Okay, I'm getting to it. Don't rush me. Uh, Captain, did you just see something? What do you mean? I thought I just saw. Never mind. All I see is a co-pilot who needs to stop chiefing it up. Don't think I don't smell you hitting that vape in the bathroom. And while she was throwing my stuff out the cargo door, she turned to me and said that she was the one who found a way to generate free energy first. She said that she found out a way to harness all of his hot air. <laughs> you know what? That's highly offensive. Enough of that. My apologies. I sometimes forget what a sensitive snowflake you are. Uh, Lenny, what the heck is going on? Why is it snowing in the lab? Did you do this somehow? Okay, now that the show's over, are you finally going to tell me how you made it snow in the lab? That wasn't me, sir. I thought that was you. This is really going to keep me up at night. Lenny, increase our security protocols and remind me to install motion sensors tomorrow. We've got work to do. Okay, stand by 13, we're looking at it. Hey guys, I appreciate the lift and all, but do we really need to be playing practical jokes? Isn't that a bit beneath us? The only thing beneath us is a benefactor freaking out. Oh snap. Let's get Jordan from Alchemical Science next. He's gonna totally freak out when it starts snowing in his bathroom. Well, okay guys, it's been fun, but you can just drop me off at the next block over there. The last thing I need is to piss off Jordan again. He's already mad at me for mishandling my balls. Thunderstorm generator balls, that is. Anyways, if you're not going to stop, I'll just take this parachute here and be on my way. And maybe I'll take this neat looking device over here, while my odd little friends are distracted by their own hubris. <laughs> 